Hello, my name is Frank Kessler. I'm your brother in light. My light is your light, and it is the light of the universe that connects us all. Edgar Cayce, the sleeping prophet, predicted an emerging new civilization to come from Russia around the year 2000. And yes, it is happening right now, thanks to the Russian forest recluse Anastasia. Vladimir Megre, a businessman, using the Orb River as his trading journey, met Anastasia, and these meetings over years sparked off the current series of books from which the wisdom of the coming new civilization is to originate. I desperately seek your help and farsightedness to explore these treasured books and join the spiritual movements of Anastasia. Growing up in Austria in the 50s and 60s, I loved my natural surroundings of mountains, rivers and forests. But politics and religion appeared mind-bending to me. Why did they exist at all? And for what purpose? Without those controlling powers, life would have been intuitively free. I must admit, however, watching movies was my obsession. Every movie concluded with the happy ending, and that's how I loved it. The art of solving crimes by detectives fascinated me no end, never knowing where the next fragments of evidence would appear. I wanted to become one of those crime investigators because I desired the ability of well-defined thought over muscles. Strange nonetheless, I learned cooking instead. From early adolescence, I read books aplenty on many a subject, but when I ended up in Australia, I fell in love with conspiracy theories. How lucky we are to have alternative news available. Opposing views alongside scripted public statements is fundamentally necessary to extrapolate the truth. The where, when, how, who and why are not fully explored by the media to safeguard their dishonest storyline. The world shadow government, which are worshippers of darkness under the instruction of the devil, plan the incursion of countries, shootings in colleges, 9-11, tsunamis, chemtrails, Fukushima and the Gulf of Mexico. Giant antenna installations force millions of watts into the ionosphere in the name of research. But the weather has never been the same since. Planet Mars experienced the same setup with devastating consequences. After execution of their deceitful crime against God's nature, they blame their target of intent and call it terrorism or climate change disaster. Scientific explanation for such unnatural disasters appear to be the most idiotic, but finds instant acceptance in the public's eye, for they have been dumped down deliberately. Speak misinformation, no information, disinformation, and fluoride. Watch out for Agenda 21, where you will need a permit to grow your own food. A canny strategy to starve us to death. Apart from locking away large areas of fertile land and ocean, the needless exploitation of productive land by fracking for gas pollutes groundwater, soil and the air. A nightmare that will consume your sanity. We are in for torrid times. The media, politics and religion hypnotize us with repetitions of misleading mantra. We are totally unaware of how our reality works. We mimic everything that our senses perceive. We are guided to believe 
world views reside in the mind. And when people focus on particular issues, their imagination bestows it with life and the accepted model becomes active. Unknowingly or knowingly, we worship a caretaker God, known as Satan, the great chief commander, devil, Lucifer, or the great deceiver. Originally called El Rasbaril, now nicknamed the devil, belonged to the human race. But his cruelty towards his fellow man was noticed by the imprisoned fallen angels and recruited as go-between to spread destruction on our globe. You won't believe when you hear celebrities rave on YouTube about having sold their ego to the devil for money and fame. This invisible force, identified as the New World Order or shadow government, infiltrates authorities around the globe and keeps them captive for their quest to annihilate Earth. This evil force treats human beings like cattle in their distinctive countries, controls civilization through time loops, whereby they build them up to a technological pinnacle and then with endless wars and massive pollution, all under the masquerade of terrorism, throw society back into Stone Age. But our forebears were born into a paradise. We got into this sorry state of affairs simply because we have forgotten that we are the descendants of the most powerful force in the universe, named God that we are the light of the universe that illuminates all, and that we were to render this light to the earth for its continued growth and well-being, but allowed ourselves to fall asleep through mind manipulation. We also conveniently forgot the history of the fallen angels. Despite them having been imprisoned around the earth's radiation belt, they found a way to square up with God for their dismissal from the highest frequency in the cosmos. Free us from this prison, or Earth will suffer the same destiny as planet Mars. It is also interesting how we react and reject words like spiritual, God, Jesus, as if they belong to comical theatre. It's like we have been hypnotised to dismiss our father frequency as a derelict fool, showing embarrassment when quoted. But in the distant past, we knew God very well and loved Him dearly. Two years ago, I summed up the smokescreen on just two pages, from before time to now, and the hidden facts have not changed one iota. Let me read it to you, and please make it go viral. For God's sake, people, wake up, please. 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 Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>